guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Um, today we're gonna continue along with the kind of Halloween theme that I've started doing. Uh, I did a fog glam look for the eyes and for this one I wanna do kind of like a smoky witchy eye. Um, I wanted to showcase the new Smashbox, the Hood Witch Crystallized um, glitter eyeshadow, glitter liquid eyeshadow that I got and I showed you guys in the last haul. It is in the shade Richcraft. That's what it looks like. It's a pretty gold color. And I wanted to use two really pretty Urban Decay palettes that I have that I feel like would go with the aesthetic that I don't use that frequently. And the first one is going to be the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. This is what it looks like. Came out about a year ago and it has this big beautiful mirror and then it's got just a bunch of really... Oh! Oh, that was bad. Oh, yikes. It has a bunch of really pretty um, different kind of fall like shades, a lot of glitters, and a lot of mattes as well. So um, I think there's some good stuff to work with with this palette. And then I also wanted to use the Urban Decay Troublemaker palette. This is a much smaller palette, but once again, it has a lot of really pretty fall colors, um, both in mattes and in shimmers. So without further ado, you guys can tell I've done pretty much everything else for my makeup. Um, I even have my eyeshadow primer on. So we're just gonna jump straight into the eye look. And I'm gonna start off with Baja, which is the really nice kind of pumpkin-y orange shade in the Born to Run palette. And for Baja, I just got like a really nice fluffy blending brush. And I'm just gonna go on the outer corner. All right, that's a pretty good start. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with Rip, which is kind of a more subdued brown shade with just like a touch of peach to it. And I'm gonna use it to blend into the rest of the crease and a little bit above that orange shade. Personally, for Halloween, I always associate Urban Decay with this time of year. Um, I don't know why. I think it's because aesthetically, Urban Decay just always has kind of fit me. It's a lot of neon colors, dark colors, grunge looks, things like that. And I have just a ton of their palettes because I love their whole vibe so much. I'm really excited because I, I think I mentioned it in another video, but I just picked up the Naked Honey palette. I'm pretty sure it's gonna become one of my quick fall favorites. So I'm excited. That box shipped today, so hopefully we'll have it within a couple of days and I can do a good haul and then review of the palette itself. But I really do love Urban Decay, especially around this time of year. I feel like I, I wind up grabbing a lot of their palettes and um, utilizing them because of the aesthetic they give you. All right, so there's a nice like full coverage orange look going on right now on my eyeballs. I'm gonna take this like kind of subdued pinky peach color called Still Shot and I'm just gonna do a little under the eye and up to kind of blend it in. And then in the Troublemaker palette, I'm gonna go with Bailout, which is the very nice, um, almost cream colored shade that's up at the top. And I'm gonna use it to blend into my brow bone. And then with the, um, with a nice like tight outer corner brush, I'm gonna go with Relish in that same Troublemaker palette. It's like a dark red color, maroon almost, and I'm gonna just do my outer corner with that. And now we are gonna go in with the Crystallized Rich Craft Liquid Eyeshadow. I'm just gonna do a little bit. Wow, that's actually super pigmented. On the eye, it's actually appearing better than it did on my hand when I swatched it, which I'm kind of surprised about. I figured it would be the same type effect but it seems to be applying super, super nicely here. That's really pretty. I hope you guys can see how pretty that gold turned out um, because I'm actually very impressed. It's not that I was expecting bad things from this collection because everything I've purchased so far from it has been just absolutely like earth shattering. Like I just didn't expect it to be as great as it is. But when I swatched it on the back of my hand, it seemed like the glitter was a little bit sparse in certain areas and it just didn't pack very well and I had to wind up like kind of tapping it in with my finger and I didn't even try and do that with it on my eye and it's just really doing a great job. You know, originally I was going to do a smoky eye. It did not turn out smoky at all. It's actually the complete opposite, but it's really pretty and I was gonna do a nice cat eye liner on top of it as well because I've enjoyed doing the eyeliner lately, but I really am enjoying the aesthetic of the eye look without that. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and I used Breakaway just to kind of, it's like a sh really light shimmery shade that could kind of work for brow bone and blending. And I'm using that just to kind of touch up the top of the eye look 
right now, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and apply mascara and then see how the final product looks. Okay, so this is the final look. It's um, it's not super like complicated or out there. It's kind of just a really nice subtle fall eye look and that's not what I was going for. I think I said at the beginning it was gonna be a smoky eye. I just did not choose colors that made it a smoky eye. So it's more of like a reddish gold, orangey, pretty day-to-day -day eye look and I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It was not hard to do really quick. I'm in, I'm actually really impressed with how the crystallized liquid eyeshadow appeared on the lid just because of, of the way I swatched it and how I swatched it. I was not super convinced that I was going to love it and um, I think it did a really good job of showing up and blending in well and I'm, I'm very happy with it. And then of course, um, I really like the Urban Decay Born to Run and the Troublemaker palettes. I don't use them a ton, like I said, partially just because I have so many palettes total and it's partially because I have so many Urban Decay palettes as well that I tend to grab other ones. So I wanted to showcase these guys and I think they, uh, they did a pretty good job making a really quick and subtle but pretty fall eye look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That means an absolute ton to the page and it really helps us out. And as always, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Um, it's really helping us out. And also, we're very close to hitting 100 subs and we want to do our giveaway. So please do that. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. And as always, stay girly with a dark twist.